Hi everyone, I'm Arian and welcome in this new video tutorial. Today we are going to create this hero section uh, by Untitled UI and we are basically um, doing the wireframing of this so we are going to build a structure uh, and trying to make it you know as fast as possible. We are using Bricks Builder and Automatic CSS. Automatic CSS is not necessary, you can, only, you can also use Bricks only and follow the tutorial. Anyway, you have more information on the description of this video. I highly suggest to check it out. First of all, let's start by adding our elements. We have a title here. Okay, we have this little description, two buttons, and this banner. So, how to structure this? Let's go on our WordPress website first. And in our WordPress website, we'll be clicking section, and then select the first container. With the first container selected, I'm going to click on the plus button here and search for heading and rich text. Okay, and I'm also going to copy the text um, from the design here just to make it more similar. So click on the title here, just paste in the, the, the text. I'm going to copy also this one and paste the text in this way. We have two buttons here. I'm going to um, actually um, add it by uh, clicking on the container first, okay? And with the container selected, you can actually go on plus button and then uh, block. Okay, I added a block now and select the block by clicking on it, okay? and um, here we are going to click plus button again and just add two buttons. Where are the buttons? One and two. Of course, uh, with the block still selected, um, let me click again here on the block. You can go here and just tell him to go horizontal. And now we have uh, the two buttons. Let's see also how they are called so show reel and then we get get in touch and then I'm also going to click again the block and get on column gap I'm going to use automatic CSS as you can see the pop-up here with automatic CSS uh, you can use also, you know, uh, instead of automatic CSS like uh, 2EM or pixels or whatever, I'm using automatic CSS to, you know, speed up the process. So right click if you have automatic CSS and just select like XS, S or whatever. I'm going to use S in this case. And another thing you need to do here is to click on the container here. Okay, this is the main container. And then again, go on this time on row gap, right click if you have automatic CSS and you can add some gap, right? So the problem here uh, is that we have uh, the content that is, that is separating, right? And I don't want to have, I don't want to actually have the spacing. I want the title and the subtitle, okay? On, on on a block. So what what you need to do here? You need to go on the heading, right click on the heading, and tell him to wrap into a block. So if you click wrap block, okay, now the heading is inside this block. And if you click this little arrow, you can find the heading in it. And the rich text, just click on it and drag it under the heading. And now both of them are inside of the block. And we can call this block like block text and maybe this other block, block buttons. Okay. And now if you go on the container and you go on row gap, right click and you can, you know, add the spacing and we'll space it in this way. He will separate the two blocks basically. So let me try to add an L. Okay, there is a lot of spacing, but in this tutorial we try to get faster as possible. And now, what we need to do is to actually add another block for the image. And to add another block for the image, um, actually we are going to add a new container for the image, not a block. So close those, okay, 
close the container just to make everything in order click on the section plus button and select another container great so we have another container here and by clicking uh, the container now we can add our image I usually do this you can actually set a background to the container but I think it's best practice to add a image widget so click on the plus button now image and click image cool okay so now you can actually upload your image okay and now I'm going to select this image here I previously uploaded it in my media so now we have the image so what we need to do here first of all okay I highly suggest to HTML tag set to figure and then aspect radio you can set an aspect radio in this case I'm not using it because I want it like full width um, and I just go on style layout width and here just type in like 100% and he will take the full space of the container and now with this set we we are actually good to go um, you can also make sure uh, you know if you want to to give him a specific height like for example I want it uh, height um, I don't know it could be like so XL is 2 is not really like uh, 20 EM or even or even more like oops 40 is too much let's say you want to make it 28 EM you notice that there is some deformation right because it's compressing the image or stretching the image in some way so if you go on content and then change the object fit to cover for example now actually it keeps you know the quality of the image without stretching it okay the only thing is that it cuts on the edges so then you need to um, give him an a positioning an object position like uh, I don't know center top or in this case center bottom as you can see and now with center bottom selected you have your image and it's fully adapting okay to the to the sizing so let me go on the design again um, where is it okay so as you can see here um, this is set it up in this way um, we need to add actually an icon here we need to change the weight of this we need to change the weight of this because it's not taking the full container we are going to do that very quickly first of all let me add some spacing between the two right as you can see there is some 64 pixel I will use my spacing as I'm going quickly section with section selected um, go on row gap I'm going to use like a XL okay and now on the title here I'm going also to change the font size so um, this title here is an H2 you can choose whatever you want let's say I want to make it H1 and already it gets bigger this depends also on the setting of your team but anyway I can give him my a specific sizing of course by going on the style tab and typography and on typography font size I'm going to uh, right click on it I will use XXL but I'm also adding a calculation to make it bigger like calc parenthesis go at the end multiply 1.4 maybe and close it so now it's bigger right I multiplied the, the actual sizing for one point um, times 1.4 and I can also change and play around okay to, to check which one it's it's um, fitting better so let me let's say I'm going with the 1.4 for example I guess that the design is more similar yeah and I also can you know change the weight uh, with setting here the weight of the font so now it's a little bit more similar of course the font I think is not the same but I'm not going to change the font right now but you can change it from the font family here and you know set your own and the last thing is that I don't want it to get the full weight so 
layout width right click on here and basically you can choose the width you want again here you can set up your your pixels your em your whatever measurement i'm using automatic css to speed up stuff um again here i can click Okay, do the same thing in, in the design. This is a little bit gray and there is also some spacing, extra spacing here. So I'm doing that too. So click, of course, on this section here. Okay, let's set up the width and tell him I want an M, for example, right? And then typography, you can change, of course, the color, the, the, the font size. I'm going to change only the color in this case because we already saw how to change the font size. I will add a gray, okay? Um, and then um, I want to add some spacing, as we said. So block text here, and I'm going to um, content and change the row gap to something like XS. And now we have the structure. So now the only thing missing here is the buttons. So I'm going to show real here. And you can you can actually add an icon. As you can see, it gives you the option to add an icon. And I'm going to upload my SVG. So if you don't see SVG here, you need to enable it on your backend. So if I get here uh, on my backend, sorry, bricks, settings, uh, you should find like SVG upload make sure this is on if you are administrator or if you are editor or whatever but usually this will do the job um, and once done that you can upload your svg as you can see it allows you to upload whatever you want uh, i'm going to upload my my icon here that i previously got from the uh, figma um, and you you can set up the height like one em okay uh, stroke width whatever fill um, i'm not i don't think i'm going to change that uh, let me see the design so basically the design has these um you know rounded borders and the icon is before the the, the thing um, so let me check um how to position it okay i have the left option here to to, to position it um you know on the left you can also change the gap like one em if you want or 0 0.5 em whatever uh, you can actually, you know, change these as you wish, like 0, 0 0.2 would do the job, it's cool. And, and yeah, so if you want to make it, let's say, um, rounded, for example, it's, it's very simple. By going on style, you can actually go on border, border here, and you can, like, add, you know, your measurement. I would go, first of all, I will click on this to make it on all sides and right click if you're using automatic CSS you have some you know pre-made rounded uh, corners um, and I will use maybe the S one and now we have uh, you know a rounded uh, button um, so yeah actually it's you can go forward and actually make the design change the color background and there is a ton of option that you can choose um, I won't go too much in depth on this because it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Of course, uh, you know, play around with that. So now, uh, let's say I have the second button here. Okay. Uh, let's do like this. I'm going to delete this button. Okay. And just duplicate this one and just remove the icon and, you know, you get the same styling or you, you can just copy the style and paste the style you, you can play around with that um, okay great also want to mention that you should be using classes okay so if you want to have the same button on the whole website that's the best practice uh, is a suggestion uh, okay so now we have basically the same design uh, as you can see and um, and yeah so we have two different colors here. Again, you can basically change the color as you wish uh, by clicking on it and going on style and changing, you know, the background color and whatever. Um, let's do it just very quickly. Like um, this one can be this color and the color of the typography can be white. Okay, and as you can see now we have two different color. Uh, let's say I want this button here. Uh, typography I will keep it like this and the background would be something you know 
a little bit lighter. I'm gonna use a command here to, to get the shades here and you know, you can make it like, like this. And the typography maybe, to make it a little bit better, this color, and if you want to change the color of the icon, you need to get on content, and here, um, the icon, you can basically uh, change the color of it. Uh, where is the color of the icon? Wait a moment. Here is it. Fill, color stroke, okay, and you can basically choose your, your color. So, if the color stroke doesn't change, means that there is a problem with the SVG here. Um, yeah. So I'm able to fill it, but not to stroke it. Probably for the exportation of this SVG was not correctly done. So make sure you export it correctly, and then you can basically change the color of the icon from here. Um, or let me try this. I'm just testing, not changing anything. Okay. So I will leave it like he, like this. Just make sure for the icon to be exported correctly. So now we just need to check on mobile, desktop, and whatever. So if I get here, everything is working fine. This is taking like the full width now because the width is very, very um, sharp. You can change this anyway, but I'm not doing that right now. And as you can see, everything is abducting correctly. Look at the image, it's cutting itself without any issue, without you know compromising the height of the image. So, Save this and you are good to go. I hope the tutorial, guys, was useful. Please like this video, would help a lot. Comment if you have any question or problems or whatever. And subscribe to the channel to get, you know, more notification on my next videos. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye.